There's actually a quote that sort of speaks to this, um, but might take us down a little uh, other path. And that is um, in the book, you say one of the biggest wastes of time is doing something well that didn't need to be done at all. So it's slightly different. How, how do you see that play out, especially in business? Oh, well, so we all have to beware the make work and fake work. That's very easy to fall into. So, <laughs> okay. so, so doing like something. I'm going to be really guilty here. <laughs> yeah, well, doing, I would love to hear like what you're like, what you would do. Um, the kind of thing I would do is spend too much time like crafting something or like, you know, italicizing book titles and things like that on something that is very ephemeral. It's like, this does not, I don't need to do it this well. And it's really a waste of my time because it's not helping anything. It's not moving the needle at all. Um, I've seen things where people do reports where like they're beautifully labeled and, you know, all organized. I'm like, this is a five page document in a three ring binder. It doesn't need, like, why does it have tabs? It doesn't need tabs. Or why does it have a, you know, like, <laughs> Like putting too much into something, uh, alphabetizing things that don't need to be alphabetized, um, you know, be, because we don't want to create make work for ourselves that isn't really taking us where we need to go. Um, filing th things that don't need to be filed. Here's a great example. So a teacher emailed me and she said, I, I spent a huge amount of time shredding my old lesson plans. Why do you need to shred your old lesson plans? These are not documents that need right. to be like hidden from Security. view. Like, yes. <laughs> you don't need to shred them at all. Like that is make work because they don't need to be shredded. So you want to always be making sure that you're not falling into patterns where, or somebody said to me that they shredded all their junk mail. And I'm like, well, I get it. It's got sensitive information, but like at least my junk mail, a lot of it is just junk. It doesn't junk. have any, <laughs> it's like, why would you shred that? So again, it's being careful and looking out for opportunities where maybe you've fallen into habits where you're doing more than you need to do to accomplish what you want to accomplish because it's, it's weirdly easy and, and you feel often you feel very productive while you're doing it. That's part of what's seductive and dangerous about it is you're like, ooh, here I am shredding, shredding, <laughs> shredding. I'm being so productive. It's like, no, it's actually a giant waste of your time. Or, you know, oh, I'm here, you know, like alphabetizing something. It's like, why is that being alphabetized? I mean, maybe it should be for you, but maybe it shouldn't. I don't know. What, what have you, have you ever caught yourself doing things well, like this? Well, here's what I'm thinking. There's things that I do like that. Like I italicize, I, you know, put my page numbers in, like every Google doc has to have page numbers. Otherwise it's not good to move on. Yeah. But I also noticed that I uphold this with my team. And so we will go back and forth on moving uh, a line in a graphic by a pixel here or there, or that corner is not quite rounded enough. And, and I realize that I am making work for them in an attempt to have it be so awesome. Yes. And yet maybe it's not for the highest good, really. Well, I mean, I think you brought up attention, which is what it's in some circumstances, you really do want to take it all the way to 100%. And that's what you're really aiming for. But then like something that's like an internal document or something that's not going to go on to have a long life. It's like, mm -hmm. who cares as long as it is communicates effectively. So again, I do. I, and I know exactly what you mean. I am the same way. Like I, I like <laughs> proper grammar is so important yeah. to me that I like, it's distracting to me. And so I do feel like part of it is, well, I don't want to have something be bad so that it's distracting to someone that they're like, oh my gosh, like, I don't know, like, you know what they're talking about, but it can, it can swamp us. And if you're working with the team, it can also make them feel frustrated if they're like, oh my gosh, we just keep going over and over and over this document. Mm -hmm. And yet, as of next week, it's like no one's ever going to look at this again. So, like, why does it have to be so, you know, every single thing have to be perfect? It's, it's a tension. It is something where sometimes it matters and sometimes it doesn't. It's sort of a case by case. Yeah, and just being able to make that call of, like you said, next week no one's going to be looking at this, so yeah. let's move on. There's probably other things to do.